Hey guys, I am Game Advisor and welcome back to another Icarus update video. Today we're going to be looking at the week 67 update called Mount Improvements and it's a small one but a meaningful one. So let's just start talking about it. Now basically what we've got here is just a bunch of mount improvements like the title would suggest. First up is that they've made it so that you can now have a G-slot item on your mount, meaning things like radars and extractors will be able to be carried by them. Basic saddles will currently be able to have one slot, saddle bags will have two slots, and if they have a cart they'll have five slots, which is a huge deal because that is a lot of slots to be able to actually carry stuff. This kind of replaces the whole need to have multiple players on missions where you need to go long distances with a lot of G-slot items. So I'm definitely glad they're adding this to the game as it makes mounts more meaningful. They've also made it so that mounts no longer take damage from thirst or hunger, meaning they will not perish if they're left unsupervised. Yes, you will still need to feed them and give them water, otherwise you'll have issues most likely like their stamina running out. We haven't actually had a whole big chance to test this out just yet, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work, just like it would for anything else. So if you get low food, you get less stamina, you can't run very fast it becomes pretty much worthless to actually have the mount at that point. But the good news is, is that your mount will not die from thirst or hunger. So if you go out and do a mission that takes more than 20 minutes, you don't have to worry about your mount actually dying. They've also increased the amount of damage resistance that all mounts have by 10%, which is just a nice small addition. They've increased the damage resistance provided by the saddles by an additional 10%, which was zero beforehand. So now if you have a saddle on your mount, you're going to get 20% resistance on it compared to what we had before. They've also added an aura to the animal bed, which provides creatures with the well-rested buff, similar to how players get it. This is again another great addition. This is just going to make it so that whenever you take your mount out from the house, it's going to have a nice buff, giving it some extra stamina and extra stamina regen while you're out and about doing things. And finally, they've lowered the base time that it's going to take to tame creatures down to 900 seconds, where beforehand it was 1200 seconds. And for those of you bad at math, that means it's now going to take 15 minutes to tame something instead of the full 20 minutes to tame something. Overall, these are all great additions to mounts and will make them a lot more playable solo. The only one I'm a little iffy on is the one where they've made it so mounts will not take any damage from thirst or hunger because to me this seems a little strange that they just can never die from thirst or hunger at all. I think a much better way to do this would have just been to say, hey, if they're near a bed, they won't die from thirst or hunger or something like that, just to kind of encourage players to not just never feed their animals when they're out and about. But again, I guess you will have to feed them to give them stamina. So either way, glad they're adding all these updates to the mounts. They're welcomed additions, I think, by the entire community. Next up, they talk a little bit about their whole Galileo progress and what they're currently working on, which basically just boils down to the new bestiary system, which is kind of an achievement system where you get some rewards for taking down a certain amount of animals and things like that. And then they're also currently working on the fishing system, which is, again, something we're really not going to see for another couple months, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. They are also apparently planning to add an update for next week that is going to improve performance. If you want to test this out yourself, you can do so by going onto their experimental branch here in a few days over the weekend. Again, I don't know exactly when this is going to happen. I'm sure you could get on the Discord to find out more recent updates on it, but just know they are planning to have a pretty big performance update coming next week. And to be honest with you guys, that is going to wrap up the video. There really wasn't a whole lot of other stuff to sit here and talk about. It was a pretty small update, but it was also a pretty impactful one. I think people will start using mounts a little bit more now, especially on the solo player side of things. But we will actually have to wait and see how the community likes this update. Regardless, I want to give a big shout out to our Platinum and Above channel members, which currently include Caustic FPV, Jonathan S, Gerald89, Jim Phillips, and AZ Blackbird. Thank you all so much for watching, I'm Game Advisor, and I'll see you next time.